The last place we left off with the Titans was back in part one of season four at the end of November. Maybe it was early December, but anyway, Titans season four part one came to an end. And since then, we have been awaiting part two. And the last thing we heard about the show was that it's canceled, which of course is super sad. It's disappointing, but also the writing was on the walls. We kind of saw it coming. It was no surprise at all. The same fate is here for Doom Patrol season four as well. Uh, but like I said, the last thing we heard about the show was, oh, it's canceled. And since then, we have gone months hearing absolutely nothing about this show. When is coming back? We don't know until now because the official social media accounts for DC Titans just released this official poster for the final episodes. So the final episodes are going to be streaming on April 13th only on HBO Max. So we finally have a release date right there. It was rumored it was probably going to be April. So now we have the official date. That's exciting. You know, mark it on your calendars, all that stuff. Uh, but also let's let's look at this poster because this is a really cool poster i mean titans has always had really cool looking posters but especially this one right here so max original we got mother mayhem up in the top left corner brother blood who of course sebastian blood is now finally officially transformed into brother blood that happened at the end of part one so he's now taking on the main villain role of the season. We have, of course, Brenton Thwaites as Nightwing. He looks great as always. We got our Starfire. I'll come back to Robin in a second. But we got, of course, uh, our little uh, mini Lex Luthor here with Connor Kent Superboy. Now he's uh, Connor Luthor or whatever they ended up calling him. Uh, that was a big twist that I did not expect coming at the end of part one. Beast Boy, we got Gar in his new suit. Raven looks amazing in her white Raven suit. Uh, Rachel looks great there. But... The big thing on this poster, this gives us our first official look at J. Lycurgo. Of course, he plays Tim Drake in this series as Robin. He was introduced to the show last season, and, you know, it's been the buildup here. Last season, he joined the Titans. This season, at the beginning, he got his bow staff. He's been trained to join the Titans. And now, as we can see, he is finally going to become, officially, the new Robin. And we have, uh, of course, there's a new trailer out as well. So I'll do a separate video breaking down that trailer later today. So stay tuned for that. But we just got to talk about this Robin suit because, man, this thing looks beautiful. We have this official promo image right here. Titan is always great at doing suits, but this one is just especially immaculate and just so cool looking because this looks exactly like it does in the comics. This is Tim Drake's Robin from the comics. This is his suit. It looks beautiful. It looks great. I love the, the metallic shiny armor with, of course, the classic Robin logo going on right there. You have, of course, the uh, the utility belt. Uh, the, the colors, that's the thing I love, the, I think, the most about this is the colors because that's something you see a lot of time when superhero and comic book characters are adapted to live action is they'll heavily mute down the colors. I mean, specifically, a very recent example, you look at that Gotham Knights show on the CW, the Robin on that show is wearing an all-black suit with green x-ray vision goggles. It looks terrible. But this one, you got the bright reds, the bright greens, you even got the yellow cape, which I love how it's like, kind of like pointy at the bottom, I guess is what you would call it. This is a great looking suit, um, especially when you compare it to some of these other previous Robin suits. We have, of course, the Chris O'Donnell version from uh, Batman and Robin and Batman Forever, which, I mean, it was good for the time. It fit that franchise, but looking back, it's just a really shiny, muscular suit that looks really bad. Um, and then we have, of course, going back to Titan, specifically when Brenton Thwaites at the beginning of the show, before he became Nightwing, when he was Robin, that at, up to this point was the best live action Robin suit. Uh, but I think this one beats it out just because the original Robin suit was much more darker and again, toned down, but this one, it really embraces those brighter comics accurate colors. So I absolutely love that. And especially when you look at all these other suits, these are all the brand new suits from Titans season four. Titans has always done amazing jobs with the brand new suits, the comics accurate suits for these characters. LJ super suits, of course, does the, the costume for this show along with many other shows like doom patrol and the boys and star girl. So I love their work. It's amazing. And just, there's so many cool characters going on here, so many cool suits. I really, really hope, and I'm not sure if it's going to happen, especially since the show is ending, but I really do hope at one point that McFarlane Toys does end up making DC Multiverse figures from this series because there's just so much potential with these amazing looking suits right here. But uh, anyways, guys, so that is our big, huge update here on Titans Season 4. Again, the final season. Uh, new episodes will return on April 13th. This is really, really exciting. We have our first look at JLR Kurgo, Tim Drake as Robin. And again, we do have that official trailer. So stay tuned for that trailer breakdown that I'll be posting later today. But for now, guys, 
guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Please drop a give enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on Effing Goes On in the DC Life. Bro, it's literally.